No telling what Aldridge is after. We need to get to the... The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right. Let's go. So from the looks of that restaurant, Aldrich has some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Nung MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those are some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't... Uh, oh. Oh. Careful! Anyway... <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our cut. Oh, fuck. Man, don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn grunts. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for you. Oh, careful! There they are. Shit. All right. Fuck it. I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! <sighs> There's the way in down here. It's usually guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layout of this place? Primary offices are out here with a new computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it! I did to your friend here. <laughs> you yes. And are you gonna be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains are gonna rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. They're gonna kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. <coughs> Going in quiet. Oh, let him go for he's going down. Looks like they called their friends. They're killing us! Hey! Stand down! Hey! Uh. Hey! 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 Shoot him from the side! I'll put one in his face! Right
We'll cover you. Move! Got it! We must have scared that bitch off. Well, go find him! Shoot him from the face! I'm ready to go first. This is the last moment of your miss. We'll cover you. Move! Was that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those commie sympathizers? Yeah, how well? <laughs> Fucking smart mouth cock sucker! You just made it harder. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Maybe in the next life, asshole. Let's ride this train on the way to the end, free. Uh. Yeah. That's all of them now. I ain't scared of you. Eyes up! Mr. Aldridge wants this area locked Moving down. Moving to cover! Move on, please. Getting more bullets! Oh. Shoot him from the... Get your guns up! Everybody! buddies they're in the wind Here. Motherfuckers over here! Uh. Uh. 
Looks like the last one. Looks like the last one. Shit. The security door. You hang on to it. I'll slide on the wall and open free from the other side. You got it? Got it. But make it snappy. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Yeah. Where's the fucking safe? There is. There's no safe. Aldridge! <laughs> Uh. Welcome to the show, Johnny. Yes! You got one last chance. What's it going to be? Don't tell that cocksucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head right, off. All right, all right, all right. Just... Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless. Out of way. How's the hand? How's the face? Tell me, who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck! Now what? I'll tell you now what. Come here. What? Oh, just get up. Ah. So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. We got company. There's gotta be a key card around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. God damn it. Fuck! Come on! Found the call. <laughs> and get this door open. Maybe in the next life, asshole. God damn it! What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck! What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. 
Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store in Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out. He doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. This man, Connor Aldridge. When did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in to Langley. Meet me in the French ward and we'll track down Pius.
need to get the payas. One of my guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Aldrich's men are moving towards Paez as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Paez works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Bois Rose. All right. We'll get there right quick. How exactly does an old money shop like Bois Rose end up employing a Cuban exile worker for the CIA? Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. Motherfuckers call me a criminal. Come on, come on, my grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. Is he trying to get the cops on us? There's Bois Rose. No sign of Aldridge's mercs. This hour, Paez should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. Let's get in there and find them. We're closed. Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? Paez, where is he? Look! Last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and you and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear out. There's some real assholes on the way here. Some of this shit costs more than I take home in a year. Yeah, but you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The booze is never cheap. Am I crazy or is that a gun? Hey, pal. Get out of here. Cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit! Thanks! You buy it? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? Two motherfuckers who are trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. There's a mess. Help! Somebody do something! Shit! I'm taking cover! Motherfuckers over here! Get this dog fucker off me! Tell me what the fuck this is about. Right it's about there. you, a bunch of your Cubano pals, and one goddamn nuke. Oh, and I can assume that they want me dead and you want me alive. You most certainly can, brother. Yeah. 
all the way to the end, Frey. If they've got any more buddies, they're in the wind. Tango down! Someone. Tell me what the fuck this is about. It's about you, a bunch of your Cubano pals, and one goddamn nuke. Oh, and I can assume that they want me dead and you want me alive. You most certainly can, brother. about two. I'm not gonna let one I'm fucking bullet Shit. slow me down. They are killing our people.
Hyatt, you let us handle the shooting from here on out. <laughs> hey, no argument for me. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Pius, you're riding shotgun. Lincoln. I'm on it. You read my mind. Donovan, we got company. I see that. Lay down some fire. Either of you is a doctor. Gonna make me replace this uniform. Eso cabrones. Coño. How you feeling? Uh, anybody else cold? Hold tight. We'll get you patched up. We need to get him inside. Uh, Hold on, buddy. We brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh, God, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. <sighs> Tell me your name. Ruben. Ruben, well, lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield <sighs> Do you know what that means? No. It means you're going to be just fine. Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Hey, your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and 87.9 uh, 87, 87 degree longitude. Where the fuck were you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles, so we arranged to meet the Russians uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I gaggle into madre, huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. Get your boy here patched up and out of town. 
Hey, hey! Oh, hit bastard. Fuck, man. Shit like what happened out of Bear on Saturdays just confirms whites and colors. I miss the old tent revivals, if I'm being honest. You get a lot more of God being out in his creation instead of inside some stuffy old church.